What's up everybody, it is me, Mr. Hanfran, and welcome back to another video. Today, for this video, it is another NASCAR Diecast unboxing. For this episode, we have 10 cars that I got in the last week, so here they are. The first car I got is the 2013 Clint Boyer Toyota Camry 30th Anniversary. Alright, the second car I got is the 2013... Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s NOS. The third car I got is the 2013 Dale Earnhardt Jr. National Guard slash Race to Achieve. Alright, the fourth car I got is the 2015 David Reagan Aaron slash SpongeBob. Alright, the fifth car I got is the 2015 Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s Cargill Throwback, which is a tribute to David Pearson. The sixth and seventh car is the 2015 Vaveline 2 pack with the 2015 Dale Jr. Vaveline and the eight, 1981 Kale Yelbro Vaveline scheme. The eighth car I got is the 2015 Jeff Gordon Pepsi Chase. Alright. The ninth car it got is the 2016 Jeff Gordon slash Chase Elliott 24 Ever car. Alright. And the last car for this episode is the 2015 Jeff Gordon Liquid Color Martinsville win race version. Alright, let's get these cars unboxed now. Alright, I just unboxed the first car, which is the 2013 Clint Boyer Toyota Camry 30th Anniversary. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say, for a 2013 car for a dollar twenty-five, this is a really good deal. And I mean... I always like to go to Plan B sales, and I just saw this for $1.25, and I've wanted this car for some time, I just haven't gotten it, but, I mean, that order was the day I got it, I mean, it was a really good deal. I mean, it's a pretty nice scheme, it's pretty basic, I mean, it's, you can't ask any better than this. I'm going to have to give this an 8.5 out of 10, but the deal is 10 out of 10, really good deal for this car. Alright, let's get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the next car, which is the 2013 Ricky Stenhouse Jr. NOS. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say this is the exact reason for the Clint Warrior. Really nice car, really good deal. I got this for a dollar fifty, but it's still worth a dollar fifty in my opinion. Pretty basic. I like the colors on it. I like the number outline. It per blends perfectly. My opinion though, I mean it's not as good as the Clint Boyer car, but I'd still recommend this for that price. I'd recommend getting this. And my rate board is an eight out of ten it's not as good, but it's a good car to get. I'd recommend getting it. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, just unbox the next car, which is the 2013 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Race to Achieve. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say... I got this for three bucks. I'm not sure if it's worth the three dollars, but I mean, if it was like a dollar or something, I would definitely get this. It's a good car, but it's a little bit basic. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I mean, I wish there was a little bit more detail to this car. I mean, all it is is red lines and then white and white down there. I mean, if there was a little bit more detail, I probably would like it a little bit more. But I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. 
It's not bad, but it's not great. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the next car, which is the 2015 David Reagan Aaron slash SpongeBob. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say, this car is probably one of the best SpongeBob cars from last year's race. It would definitely be in my top three. Probably number two, because I love the Casey Mears, which I got right here. But this is the second of five, I believe, of the Reagan, of the SpongeBob cars. But either way, though, really awesome scheme. I really love the detail. MWR, which is a former team, now did an amazing job on this car. I'm definitely going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. Really awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the next car, which is the 2015 Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Cargill Throwback. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say, this is a awesome throwback. I've been looking for this since it came out, but I just never found it until Lionel Racing had it with a sale. If you buy three or more, you get $3.99 a car. So I was like, hmm, I'm really interested, and I did get this car. So, really awesome scheme. Good throwback. Probably one of my favorites for 2050. Not my very, but it would be in my top five. So, my ratings for this car is a 9 out of 10. Pretty nice car. Definitely worth the $4. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car now. Alright, I just unboxed one half of the Vaveline pack, which is the 2015 Dale Jr. Vaveline Darlington Throwback. So, here's the car. Alright, I have to say, this is an awesome die cast. I really like it. Really good job by Lionel. I just love this car. It's beautiful. One of my favorite throwbacks. I mean, it's not my very favorite, but same with the Ricky Stenhouse. Probably in my top five. I mean, I really love the detail, and they tried to make it as accurate as possible. And they did pretty good. Hendrick, I'll give you an applause for that. that you did a good job on the design of this car. Overall though, I'm going to also give this a 9 or maybe even a 9.5. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the other half of the Vaveline 2 pack, which is the 1981 Kale Yale Bro Vaveline. So here's the car. Alright. I have to say, compared to the Dale Jr. Vaveline, they are almost al very alike. I mean, the only thing I see right now is that line goes all the way to the top, and the line stops right there for Kelly Albro. But, anyways, really nice scheme. If you're an old NASCAR fan and you like Kelly Albro, and you collect old die casts, I would definitely recommend this. And if you like Dale Jr. and Kill Y'all Bro, then I would totally recommend this. And I got this for $6, which is 3 bucks a car. Awesome deal. Overall, 9 out of 10. Good scheme. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the next car, which is the 2015 Jeff Gorn Pepsi Chase. So here's the car. Alright, I have to say, this is a really nice car. I really love the blue. It blends well with the car. They made it a little bit darker than the non-chase version, but I kind of like it better darker, to be honest with you. I mean, really nice car. I'm definitely going to give this a 9 out of 10. And I got this for 325 from the Cyber Monday sale. Definitely worth it. 
Alright, let's go ahead and get to the next car. Alright, I just unboxed the next car, which is the 2016 Jeff Gorn slash Chase Elliott 24 Ever Scheme. So here is the car. Alright, I have to say this car is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I do not like that Hendrick Motorsports is on the hood. If anything, it should be Exalta, but I mean, they probably didn't get the licensing, which is okay. I mean, that's a huge break. If there was Exalta on the hood, I would probably give this a 10. Well, because it's Hendrick, I'm not too sure if I'm going to give this a 10. I mean, I love the design, but I might drop it down just a little bit to maybe 9 or 9.5. Nine Oh, uh, let's go ahead and get to the last car. Alright, I just unboxed the last car, which is the 2015 Jeff Gorn Martinsville Win Race Version Liquid Color. So here's the car. Alright, as a big Jeff Gorn fan, I was so happy when he won. I nearly went to tears of joy when he won. I was that happy. I was really surprised, but at the same time screaming so loud, saying, Woo, go Jeff, and he won. And I was celebrating. I mean, I was just so happy when he won. And I'm so happy I had this die cast. I mean, I get it's not the regular version, but I mean, as long as I have a version of the 164, it's all what matters. So... As a big Jeff Gorn fan, I'm definitely going to have to give this a 10, but if you guys are not Jeff Gorn fans, you would probably rate it lower, but this car means so much to me. It literally does. Oh, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.